on this episode of Cumberland Rover, A Sailor Goes Mad in the Wilderness, and then discovers a lost avian civilization in an isolated commune of cypress trees. When Western Kentucky locals reference Jonathan Creek, they're generally referring to a broad, protected inlet on Kentucky Lake, not this muddy, overgrown stream. But this is Jonathan Creek proper. Some viewers have referred to my local sailing environment as brown water. In this case, I can't really dispute that. Upstream of the highway, Jonathan Creek is essentially a small river that feeds into a much broader section, which is almost a lake unto itself. Beset by an aggressive swarm of mosquitoes, I could endure no more and turned downstream for the more open water beyond the bridge. Unfortunately, the mosquitoes are only going to get worse in forested areas like this as summer progresses. These swallows had constructed a small city hidden under the highway. You could even call it an avian civilization. There had to be hundreds of nests.
drifting lazily past an isolated stand of cypress, the creek broadens and gradually becomes less shallow and slightly less muddy. It began to resemble almost a small protected lake. I have to wonder why I haven't spent more time here. This is a great place for small boat sailing. Something caught my eye over in the woods. I bring the skiff about and go to investigate. I've seen a lot of duck blinds out on the lakes, but never one quite like this. It's reminiscent of something you might find plans for in an old popular mechanics. There's no floor and it's open on one end. It seems the idea is that you pull your boat in like a garage for concealment. It even has a little door for retrieving dogs. Using the oars, I circle back around to the miniature cypress forest. I just can't get enough of this place.
Pennants are now available at cumberlandrover.com. Historically flown for signal purposes, a pennant is that indescribable something that your boat is missing. They can help you read the wind, increase visibility of your small craft, and they just look cool, fluttering from the masthead or yard of a lug sail. You can have any color you want, as long as it's bright red. I have two styles of pennant now available at cumberlandrover.com.